Fakers got a fake, 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 fake. And the haters got to hate, 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 hate. Shake it off. I shake it off. Hi, I'm Leve, and I'm playing Song Association with Elle. I don't think I'm going to do very well for some reason. Maybe I've just like overthought it. <laughs> All right, I'm ready to play. Rain. Oh, oh, um, <laughs> if you ever, what's that? The Bruno Mars song. It would rain, rain, rain. It Will Rain by Bruno Mars. Trouble. Ooh. Um. I knew you were trouble when you walked in. So shame on me now. Ow. I knew you were trouble by Taylor Swift. I went to the Eras tour in LA and, and I went with a group of friends. I told them I was a Swifty going in, but I was screaming along to every single lyric and they were, they were definitely surprised. I loved it. Tonight. Um, I don't have the energy. Please don't ask to dance with me tonight. Let's dance with me tonight. By me. <laughs> Wish. Okay. <laughs> okay. I wish you bluebirds in the spring to give your heart a song to sing. And then a kiss, but more than this, I wish you love. I wish you love. There are a couple of renditions. There's, it's by Charles Trenet, but I really like the Sam Cooke version. I also have a version of it. I feel like with every project I do, I like to do one jazz standard to kind of introduce my inspirations of jazz, but I feel like there's a song for every mood every day. No. Oh. All right. How will I know? How will I know? How will I know if he really loves me? By Whitney Houston. There's also a Sam Smith version of it that I really, really like. I used to listen to that a lot. Dance. Oh, duh. Just dance. Gotta be okay. Da, 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 da. Just dance. Been there a good day. Just dance. Lady Gaga. <laughs> I definitely draw inspiration from Lady Gaga. I mean, she did these jazz albums with Tony Bennett, kind of bringing jazz back. I actually have met Lady Gaga in Iceland, where I'm from, in Reykjavik. She received a peace prize a couple of years ago, and Iceland's like known as one of the most peaceful nations in the world, and it was given to her by Yoko Ono, I think, and I saw and met her there. Always. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Lately, it's not a song. Wait. Uh, <laughs> it's fine. It's better. It's more entertaining. Confess. Confess. I'm confessing that I love you. Tell me, do you love me too? I'm confessing. It's a jazz standard, but it was in Love, Rosie, which is one of my favorite movies, and it's a really good song. Future. Um, Cause I, I'm in love with my future. Billie Eilish, my future. I covered my future by Billie like two or three years ago, like in the middle of a pandemic and she reposted it on her story. I started seeing like Billie Eilish fan accounts follow me and I was like, what is happening? And then I saw that and I was like, this is so cool. <laughs> Star. Um, just like a star across the sky, just like an angel on the page, you have appeared through my life, feels like I'll never be the same. Like a Star by Corinne Bailey Ray. Falling. I never had a shoulder to cry on. Everybody's falling in love and I'm falling behind. Falling behind by Leve. <laughs> it did go viral on TikTok recently. It's a lot of people talking about how they feel like they're falling behind in life as well, which is very validating because 
I wrote the song about that feeling. It feels so wild. I write these songs, you know, in my bedroom in despair and I put them out there kind of never know what's gonna happen. And when I see people resonating with it, like all over the world, it's so cool. Angel. I don't know the lyrics to this, but the I just an angel, an angel, and then there's like this very cool like violin part in the middle. Yeah, nothing. I have nothing. Nothing, nothing if I can't have you. Whitney Houston, I have nothing. City. Um, oh, I'm taking back my city. I'm taking back my life. It's street by street by, by me. <laughs> The first time I released music, like with my song Street by Street, it was just like, I truly had a lot to gain, nothing to lose. And I had no previous experience of releasing music, so I had no clue what to expect. So I kind of just threw it out there. It was kind of exhilarating because it felt like, I don't know, it's like the first time doing something. Now that I've released a couple of songs, I'm less stressed about each release because I just know that it like goes in waves like that, but always, as excited to see how the fans react. Shake. Shake. Right. Shake it off. Shake it off. Oh, oh. A faker's gonna fake, 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 fake. And a hater's gonna hate, 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 hate. Shake it off. I shake it off. Shake it off by Taylor Swift, of course. If I could feature on any existing Taylor Swift song, probably Enchanted. I think that, I think Enchanted's my favorite one. 13 out of 15, that's not that bad. That's like what I got in school. It was like a B plus, A minus type of thing. It's not bad. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching at L. My new album, Bewitched, is out now. <laughs>